Most gym owners aren't especially passionate about branding and design when they open up a gym. But design really is a big part about how your prospects and members perceive your business and frankly, its value. Today, we're gonna cover the most common mistake I see with branding and how to fix it. My name is Mark Fisher from businessfunicorns.com and if you like the content in today's video, well, you might like the Business for Unicorns podcast. It's co-hosted by my non-sexual life partner, Michael Keeler, where he interviews fellow Business for Unicorn coaches like myself, Pete Dupuy, Ben Pickard, and an array of fitness industry luminaries where we look to give you more actionable tips, psychological frameworks, and philosophy. No, wait, that's mine. That's this YouTube. To find out more, you can go to bfupodcast.com or click the link in the description box below to subscribe and follow us on the podcast app of your choice. All right, so today's a little bit of a quickie because this common branding mistake is pretty easy to solve. I just wanna put it on your radar and I think once I share this, you're gonna be like, oh, duh, so simple. Here's the thing, a lot about branding well is merely consistency, that's the game. And part of what I like about this is I think this is actually a reflection of integrity. Again, I don't wanna oversell my case here. I don't think people are like, well, you use this font here and this font over here. So how am I to trust you? I do claim that there is a little bit of a subconscious confusion that happens when people aren't seeing consistency across the brand design. And very simply, the way this works is by using a handful of chosen consistent fonts and a handful of chosen and consistent colors. And then we basically, whenever possible, never want to vary them. When we're deciding what those are in the first place, in a perfect world, we're considering who our avatar is, as well as who you are as a business, your values, your culture, your beliefs, and how we're offering the services we offer to a very specific community of individuals that you feel called to serve. So good brand design should be like catnap to your avatar, the prospects you most wanna be working with. We want those fonts and colors to be everywhere. I'm talking on the website, on the landing pages inside the facility, the colors the walls are painted, the flyers that go up inside the facilities, any assets you make for social media, any banners or physical handout materials you make for maybe any organic marketing events you attend, the uniforms, if you have uniforms in your facility, everything should feel of a piece. In fact, even in the digital marketing world, there's a concept known as ad scent, which is to say that if you have one set of colors, images, fonts, words on the ad, but people click through to a landing page and it's a different different colors, different images, different fonts, that loses ad scent, it can hurt conversion. Now, with our scale of business, frankly, it's not clear to me that's gonna make a massive percentage difference. I think you can see if, people, if, you're, if you're a huge online business, that stuff really can start to matter. And I also wanna concede, if you're doing a paid digital ad, you don't have control over the captions often that you're gonna be doing in a Facebook ad, I get that. But I just wanna put this on your radar. The key thing we're looking for here is consistency. It's a thing that I see that is most often messed. Um, and because this is short, I'm gonna give you two extra bonus tips. Number one, if you wanna help codify this, I suggest creating a style guide. In most situations for most training gyms, this can be a simple one to three page PDF that just outlines everything from the fonts to the colors to your logo and what are the rules for how the logo is presented. You can even get jiggy with it, which is a very contemporary reference. And offer things such as what is your policy on the Oxford comma, right? You can even get into some of the grammar and writing rules for your business. For instance, at Mark Fisher Fitness, the term ninja is always capitalized. And then final, my final branding and design thing. Cause, cause here's the thing, let's be real. Uh, unless you're someone that gets a lot of positive feedback about the way you've designed your house and the clothes you wear, which is, let's be real, not the case for most training gym owners, you might not be the best person to oversee design. That's part of why we like to outsource things like websites to a company like Kilo, they're gonna do it very well for you. However, if I'm gonna give you one more little baby pro tip here is whatever you're creating for marketing collateral, whether it be a website or printed materials, you wanna squint your eyes and see, can I read it? Because very often the issue is the design is just hard to read. We're using reverse print, which is to say it's white text against a background. There's not a lot of contrast. The words are physically too small. Listen, if you confuse, you lose. I think a thing to keep in mind for all of design is you don't wanna make people work hard to understand what's going on. Now, this is something we see show up in the words you use in marketing, right? Where ideally a website, for instance, is making it immediately clear who you help, how you help them, and exactly what to do next. You don't wanna make people have to work to understand what you're doing. When you squint your eyes, you can't read the actual text 
something has gone awry, I would suggest you go back to it, be a little bit more minimal, make the text bigger, play with the contrast until it's easy for someone to read even if their eyes are squinted. For more on this topic, and if you want some help specifically with your website, go ahead, click the link in the description box below to watch my video affectionately titled, Your Website Sucks. But before you do that, don't forget to hit subscribe. So that way you never miss any of my upcoming videos where I will share with you more actionable tips, psychological frameworks, and philosophy.